Thank you for coming back. Yesterday in the plenary session, I chatted with Jean about what we've learned so far around DevOps, COVID, and the future of work. My goal in this session is to dive more deeply into the data. So I'll spend some time on the research data. I'll spend more on what we know about stress during the COVID pandemic. I'll isolate what we know about working from home with, from COVID by looking at pre-COVID work from home research. And then I'll look at recent studies that compare from pre-COVID epidemic to during the lockdown. Then I'll talk about what we observe on working effectively what we observe on applying DevOps more effectively, and what we should expect going forward into the new normal. So first, let's start with what the data indicate. And since we're meeting virtually in London, data are plural. And they indicate that developers are doing more. This is a surprise to many of us. This is a surprise to me. I expected to see that when we went into lockdown from COVID, we would see a drop in developer productivity. We don't find it. I'm going to share two data sets with you. They're completely independent and they're both big. So this one is from Microsoft internal. Uh, it's data out of the one engineering system, which is built on Azure DevOps where we can measure across all Microsoft engineering levels of activity. And we find that if we look at pull requests year over year, they're up in 2020 relative to 2019. And if we look at this black line here, we see that when we closed the office and made everyone go home mandatorily across the company at the beginning of March, there was no visible change in pull request volume. We tried to drill further by looking at the data week over week. So in other words, comparing Monday to Monday, Tuesday to Tuesday and so forth. And each of these uh, colored bands is a different week with magenta being March 8th. Uh, by then, everyone was fully working from home. The offices were completely shut. So what did we see? We saw that uh, people were still working quite a bit. In fact, they were working longer days. It appears that uh, engineers were starting their day earlier. They were finishing their days later. We didn't see the usual midday dip of folks going to lunch as they do when uh, they're in the office and, and the uh, cafes are open for certain hours. We didn't see a strong uh, mid-afternoon break that we typically uh, would see in prior weeks. So it looked like activity was there with longer days, some concern about the implication of those longer days. Now let's flip to the GitHub data set. So this is data from github.com. Here we compared 2020 again to 2019, looking at the amount of time for each contributor between the first push of the day and the last push of the day. So in other words, if you make your first push of the day at 10 o'clock in the morning and your last push at five o'clock in the afternoon, that's a seven hour day. If you start at nine and go to six, that's an 11 hour day. And we compared the length of those days from 2020 to 2019. We saw that they're longer in 2020 and that it appears they go up in March. And it appears that they're continuing to be longer as we go further. This data was put together by my friend and colleague, Nicole Forsgren, with her associates and published 
in the Octaverse Pulse report recently. We also see a big difference if we look at the volume of code pushes, 2020 versus 2019. And here, what you see if you look at the beginning of the year, January, February, is you see a whole bunch of random noise in terms of uh, how much code is getting pushed. But then as we go into March and people are going into lockdown, we suddenly see a big rise in code pushes as more work is getting delivered, more work during the lockdown period. Now, if we compare pull requests, the requests uh, for changes year over year, 2020 to 2019, we see that 2020 is a little higher than 2019. We don't see um, any particular difference uh, before or after lockdown. However, if we then look at the cycle time that it takes for those pull requests to get approved and that code to get merged, we suddenly see in March, a big drop in the wait time for pull request approval. In other words, cycle time is improving. And we see this in two cohorts. We see this both for the enterprise cloud accounts, and we see it for the other paid accounts, the smaller team accounts on GitHub. We also see that open source is climbing